two individuals, superbly talented, great vision, great ideas. They'll be not great female governors, they'll be great governors and great Secretary of State. Our history in Rhode Island has been one that has been written many times by women, and they go neglected. We had our Women's History Month event at Slater Mill, and in 1890, the first strike for decent wages was led by women. So my daughter, who is 10, is growing up in a very different world than I did, and certainly very different from my mom, and certainly very different from the picture you see here. And thank God she is. Thank God she is, and thank God she knows, I hope, that if she works hard enough, she can be whatever she wants to be. If we could figure out a way to fully empower and unleash the talent of women, the world would be a better place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with you. You know, any time a woman wins, it definitely helps other women. Uh, I, but I think that, you know, it's really about creating those opportunities and continuing to keep the door open so more of us can be in office. I recently had a competition to be governor for a day, and we asked grade school girls to write an essay on what would you do if you were governor for a day. Thank you. Okay, I'll push in. <laughs> How's it feel? Nice. She came into the state house, and she looked at all the portraits out in the hallway, and she noticed they were all men. Every governor's portrait, all men. So, governor, I know you came under scrutiny for this being an all girls thing. Do you regret not having boys involved, or is this kind of one of these things where you might do it in the future with boy students? You want to take a stab at that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's pretty cool that they just let girls do it, because, you know, I've seen a lot of pictures of the previous governors. A ton of them were all men, not saying that they're bad, they're, they're pretty cool. <laughs> and, and, well, I just think it's really cool that young girls, they can take a shot at being governor for a day. Seeing that it is Women's History Month, and so I think it's a good way to represent it with just having girls, so, yeah. I really have nothing to add to that. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, well, it's pretty cool that there's one woman up there, too, and that's our 75th governor of Rhode Island. I knew that I was ready and good for the job. It was how do I make sure that everything else in my life is, is going to fit appropriately? How did you handle the kids? How did you handle the campaign? I think those are conversations that women have in their heads a lot of times before they run. What struck me at the time is how few women I could actually call to have those conversations with. I'm um, actually teaching your daughters to be the future leaders. I just see that empowerment, and that is really what encouraged me. Part of the challenge that we have as women is we, we're trying to conform to somebody else's standard. As long as you're delivering, it's okay. And I want to be a mother just like Nelly and be able to be here and bring my kids, right? Si se puede. We need to give each other that kind of support that it's okay to do things differently because you have other factors in your life. There's a recognition now that the issues that used to be sort of stereotyped as a woman's issue are really an issue of huge consequences to everyone. When I was helping create companies in the private sector, Senator Hillary Clinton was fighting to create opportunities for everybody. And when I was elected treasurer, Secretary Hillary Clinton, <laughs> She's done it all, uh, although not quite everything. Those two women won, not because they were women, but because they were the, the best, most qualified candidate that's determined by the voters of Rhode Island. And heck, maybe that little girl even become governor of Rhode Island. Thank you.
Obviously being the first woman to break through and, and win an election for governor, I hope sends a signal to other women that they can do it and they should think about it and that we need them to get involved. It's an amazing blessing to be in a position to change people's lives through government work. If you're thinking of running, listen to that voice.